Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 2 PC. In this episode, I don't, I don't really know what's coming, but I'm sure there's other various random things that we could do. So, um, I've been thinking since the, or in the first game, when we triggered the switches that we had to trigger, something happened. So to me, that means that there's probably more switches that we haven't triggered yet. Now, I'm not sure where they're at, so we'll be probably wandering around and pressing buttons randomly just to see if we can't find, like, another switch. But, in all honesty, I don't know. You know, I could probably rotate this. In all honesty, I don't know that there are any other... Okay, I found one. Okay, so I'm going to assume there are other switches. I don't know how many there are or where they are, but... Eh, you get the idea, guys and gals. We're going to be wandering around. We're going to be looking for them there switches, and we'll be doing some stuff. That being said, I wonder if I can jump on... Oh, a dimensional gate. What does that do? Hmm, what's this? This is a dimension gate. Dimension gate? It's a warp device that lets you travel to places throughout the world in an instant. Oh, well that's a convenient thing. You can go anywhere as long as you know the place, even the Overlord's castle. So, why don't you guide me to the Over to Overlord Zenon already? Maybe I don't feel like it right now, eh? Eh? Anyway, folks, I want to let you guys know that I have started a list. People have already signed up, and we will be doing some stuff. I don't remember how to... We changed names through the assembly, I believe it is. So let's see if we can't do that. I don't know how many we'll be able to change, but let's go here. Would you like to use the dock assembly? Yes. Yes, I would. All right. I think what we're going to do is we're going to change Bella because somebody wanted a new Bella. And we're going to make it D-U-A-N. So, Dwan, Dwan, Dwana. And, oop, there we go. Duan the Ice Mage. That is going to be the name. Granted, you're one of the worst Ice Mages ever, and I apologize for that. But at least you're early on in the series. And if we ever get to do the reincarnation, I guess we'll do that with you. Hopefully later on down the road. It looks like... Um, oh, that's interesting. It looks like there is... No more, and someone mentioned this, there's no more promotion exams, so all this stuff is automatically here, and we can basically call a vote to get it, or approval to get it at any point. And it looks like we have an overall 45% approval, and it does look like it changes each time we go in. Well, that's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, our healer, uh, let's see, can we change your name to healer? Can we? Yes, we can. Alright, so we had somebody who wanted to be a healer and wanted to use a name specific that they used for all their games. Sorry, it is Syringe. That is the healer through all of the Disguise series for this individual. So, thank you for signing up and you are now part of the party. And it'll be fine. So, we'll go ahead and we'll get a few of these folks on in here. A few of them want to be later on characters. So, there is still room. And there are still things that we would like to add to the party. So if you guys act quickly, we will be able to do just that. Alright, so... We have Syringe, we have Duan... Duan, 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 I, I don't know. Um, we're going to get rid of you, we're going to name you... The One True Master of the... No, we're going to name you Harry. A very hairy individual. Name you Harry. Space. Do we have a space? Yes, we do. I'm gonna name you Harry Tom because it is your name and it is, which you, it is that which you wish to be called. All right, so there it is. All right, so we have a few folks that are now in the party. We have a couple of others that would like to join, and if we do get another mage-type individual, we will be able to. You know what? Let's throw you in there. 
You did say you wanted to be like a black mage. We can we can do it this way. This this works. This is fine. We're gonna have Mies join. Good old Mies Lizard, as I like to enunciate it. Sorry, it's I I apparently. No, I've done everything wrong. The world is going to end. I've never been a fan of uh this way of naming things. It's always driven me a little bit insane, I guess. L lizard, yes, it is lizard or lizard. It's probably mice lizard. Zard. There we go. So there we are. We have a few new peeps on the field of battle, and I like it. I like it. We have all the folks that we can have actually named right now. And don't worry, they're all still openings. We just need to get Adele and Rosalind a little bit higher up. And glorious things will happen. Hello, did we search through all of these things? I can jump up here. No. Hello. Oh, hey, I got another button. Sweet. Ooh, an eerie shadow lurks upon Hoyt or Holt or Halt Village. I don't know what that's all about. Well, but that's a thing that happened, so we we did it. We did whatever we were supposed to do. So there's supposed to be a shadow? Well, I don't know what the shadow's all about. We'll look around, we'll see if we can't figure it out as we go. Anyway, let's go ahead and make sure we're all healed up. I believe that we are. We are. And let's get to stepping and doing some stuff. Please select where you want to go. The Town Fields. All right, so we've done that, we've done that. We're going to go to the Psycho's Hideout. And we are going to begin anew. And it's going to be glorious. All right, as it stands right now, this is not doing anything. But if we throw it onto the blue panels, we will get a bonus of 50% 50 exp 50 experience on everybody who's on a blue panel. So basically, there's no downside to doing that. So I think we should do that. That is my thought process. We shall lift and throw you. She sounded very odd, we'll say. We'll say that she sounded very odd. Um. Hmm. How much health do you have, buddy? 21. Pretty sure good old Roz here can't finish you, so. I was completely wrong. She just murdered your face. I apologize. Surprise! Alright, so we can get Adele thrown on up into the place to be. Uh, somebody was telling me that you can actually throw people diagonally. I find that to be weird. Yeah, that didn't happen or work at all. That seemed like a, a, a lie to me, but eh, who knows? Who knows? I said that you do something where you're swapping between the two, and while you're doing the swap, you hit the button and it works? Well, didn't seem to work that well for me. It's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and end our turn. I would like to get to the treasure loot chest thing if we could, but it looks like they are going to take it from me. And they did, so now I'm a sad panda. Should have known. Should have known. Alright, well, we're gonna come up this way, I guess. Because of, you know, reasons and logic and things. Go ahead and lift and... Hold on. Let's go ahead and lift and throw again, huh? Well, we... I can attack while holding someone? Okay, I'm curious. How does that work? Oh, that was pretty cool looking. I mean, it, it didn't seem to really do a tremendous amount of damage, but... Um, are we going to get hurt by this? Like, it, hmm. So I have a feeling like that might have been a bad move. Uh, hmm. 
No! Sorry guys, my, my brain is not working apparently very well right now. It's okay. We'll make it work. We will, I promise you. Alright, we're gonna throw you. Then we're gonna throw you. And then we are going to use our magical ice spell. And Dwan is going to take you out. Sweet. Alright, so let's see what happens when we hold our character over our head. Is Rosalind gonna get wrecked? I don't... I don't know. I'm a bit worried. No, didn't seem to do any... Hmm. Well, now I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, like, very, very interested in this weird stacking, attacking thing. Can you do with more than one, more than one person? Uh, looks like it. Okay, what is this? Okay, so she didn't do anything because she's a mage and has, like, no attack power. But the other two did stuff. That's so weird. Like, I don't not like it. It's just very odd. Very, very odd. Alright, Syringe is going to throw on over Harry Tom, who is not going to use Blade Rush, but just a basic attack, which should be enough to kill him. It is, just barely, though. Okay, well, it seems that we get to do multiple attacks with people when we use the stack command thingy. But it also seems absurdly, ridiculously, and, well, quite dangerous, for lack of a better term. So, that being said, we should probably throw a few of these folks out. Yeah, I don't know what this diagonal throw thing is supposed to be, but... Well, I was told that it was a thing that exists. I just don't know what it could possibly be. Well, before we do any of that, do we have a uh, fire? We do, but it's a single target fire spell. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And, eh, you know what? Let's go ahead and throw... Caster an arrow, too, if the fire's not strong enough. It's not, the arrow shoots, fires, looses, and does not finish. That is a tad unfortunate, but we have the triple strike available, which probably is just going to kill the guy. Maybe not. No, it did. Straight up murdered him. I was going to attempt to do my blade strike thing with him, but eh, we got it. Alright, easy level up. Stage is cleared! And we got a BB gun. And possibly 12 XP. Cool. I love the little art pictures on the side there. I think it's pretty cool. Listen, you. I'm listening. Why do you desire to do something as stupid and reckless as battling my father? Do you actually believe you? A mere human. Stand a chance against my father? Xenon's curse turned every human into a monster. He turned our beautiful world into some twisted netherworld. When humans turn into monsters, they start to lose their conscience and memories, eventually becoming real monsters. I grew up watching as my family slowly turned into monsters. I thought they were demons. Can you even imagine how painful that is? If my family becomes something truly monstrous, I won't let that happen! I will defeat Xenon! I'll do whatever it takes to protect my family! You may talk all you want, but do you honestly believe that? You won't even take any hostages, correct? There's no doubt I'll defeat him! Yes, yes, you've declared that many times. But where does all your confidence come from? Tell me. Look at me! I'm the only one in Veldheim who hasn't turned into a monster. And I still have all my memories and morals. I'm the only human who hasn't been affected by Xenon's curse. That has to mean something. It's a good point. It's a good point. And? That's it. 
That's it? Your faith in defeating Overlord Xenon is solely based on that? Why? Is there a problem with that? It is more than just a problem. Are you so stupid you do not see it? Do you not have a better reason? Such as being from a heroic lineage or being level 100 million? Ooh. Normal people usually have, you know, real reasons to believe they can defeat their enemies. Huh, I don't care. Not having a good reason to fight is just an excuse for people who don't want to fight. I suppose you may be correct, but... What's really important is to never give up, to have an indomitable will. Even if your legs are broken and your arms fall off, you have to fight to the end. That's just my style. A speech on willpower in this day and age? I did not know people still believed in such silly notions. Perhaps it was your thick skull that prevented my father's curse from affecting you. To be summoned by such an odd peasant, I must be cursed with the worst of luck. This human is a complete fool. Such a cretin must not be allowed to disturb my father. I shall have to kill him myself. Be prepared. Well, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like a very bad thing, actually. Kind of the total opposite of good. All right, let's go to the assembly here. Adele has 11. Uh, I'd like to see. Can we get one of you? We need 14 for you. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we? Oh, what do you have? You have 13 mana. Of course you do. Ah, uh, good stuff. Compelling and rich. Alright, so we can't summon anybody else just yet. Let's go back here. And we'll get some treated It's fine. We can't claim any more prizes just yet. Let's get some of these. We at the Rosen Queen Company work day and night to provide our customers with a variety of products that will make you happy. Our products will change each time you enter the shop. If you don't like the products, you can leave and re-enter the shop again. Please enjoy your shopping. Alright, so... Let's see, what are, what are we looking at here? A uh, little tiny bit of defense. The tunic's a bit more with some resistance. Okay. There's a buckler, that's... is that new? Uh, only good against smaller melee weapons. Does it actually do anything? It's just more defense and adds a little bit to int. So it just... it doesn't really matter, it looks like. But it does have a negative uh, effect of speed. Hmm, interesting. Alright, well I think we could probably grab a couple of tunics. Probably not terrible. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright. Ooh, our customer rank went up. Sweet. Let's go ahead and equip some of the, of the armor. Uh, we have an old cloth. Let's get rid of the old cloth and add a tunic to the mix. We have a bomb. Is that a like a usable item? The Imperial Seal. Be nice if we had one of those for our boy. Alright, we'll get rid of the 2 HP one. Give you a tunic instead of your old cloth. One HP one. You can keep your old cloth. You... I guess you can take the tunic and the old cloth. Or wait, wait, wait you had the brawny muscle. Here, keep that. I mean, we still have the old cloth that we can throw on other folks. So why don't we do that? We'll put one of these on each of these guys. Make them a little tiny bit stronger. We have a replica spear. Nobody's using the spear. We have the weak. We have a training staff. Does... She, she does. So does he. Okay. Wait, does everybody have a weapon at this point? They do. Alright, so we're okay. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll throw another heal up on our boys real quick. We'll go in, we'll do the next mission, and then that'll do it for this episode, I think. Please select where you want to go. 
Dead Tree Field. Who or what is that? We ventured out to the frontiers of Veldine in search of a vicious hero who was spotted in the area. Wait, what's this? I can't believe it! Look out! It's an invisible laser! Uh, did you see that? I did. Uh-oh. That's a zombie. Axel, darling. <laughs> How many times do we have to go over this? This is for the traveling channel. We don't need action scenes for this travel show. So stop making up traps and enemies. But I'm the host. <laughs> Axel, Axel, Axel. No one expects anything from you anymore. There was a time when you were lighting up the stage as the dark hero. But that time is long gone. Weird. Huh. Who are they? That is him. That blonde man over there is Overlord Zenon. That is my father. W what? Really? Huh. But he looks so young. Can that guy really be your father? Aha! Uh -huh. Are you filled with terror now that he is standing before you? Th no, th that's not it at all. But I, I can't just attack him from behind. I must fight him head on. Yeah. Can you defeat him that way? He is known as the god of all overlords. I won't lose. I have to save my family. This human, his family must be important to him. But if they are so important to him, he should stop fighting lost causes that will only get him killed. Nothing ever comes from dying. What a fool. Fighting is so sad. Hey, Director! Look! Well, hello there! I don't want your stupid autograph! I want your life! Huh? Wait... Am I unscrewed? Who said anything about an autograph? What was that about? That was weird. So is this the new Dark Adonis mid-boss type guy? Is that what he's supposed to be? The Dark Hero. Well, could be fun. Alright, so you guys are spear users. You are regular fighters. You're a fist fighter. Okay. Seems legit. Alright, let's go ahead and see... So what kind of uh, team attack chance do we have? We have a 0% chance of her helping us with the team attack. Well, that's fantastic. Um, not super useful. Not gonna lie. How about we don't let you do that? Unless we build it up over time? I don't know. Whatever. We'll put her into the mix. Hmm. Let's see, can syringe not really make it? That's fine. Alright, so I guess we're all going to do kind of like combination attacks or something, I guess, maybe? Whatever. Let's go ahead. There's a 30 and a 21, and... Oh, does it... Oh, it no longer does that? That's so cool! So that was one of the things I never... I never really cared for in uh, Disgaea 1. Or Disgaea PC, as it were. Uh, if you if you triggered an action and whatever you were targeting died, you still it still counted as you use that action. And it looks like now that doesn't work the same way, which is well, needless to say, really, really ridiculously good. I like that a lot. I like that a whole lot. I believe you are outside of our range, sir. Blade Rush, correct? I cannot hit you with it. But do not fear. 
Miss Lizard is here, and he shall give you the boost you need to make it within range to do some murdering. Alright, so we're going to try to do some murdering, as I stated before, and it'll probably be okay, but maybe not. Don't know for sure. We're going to go ahead and defend ourselves. We'll end the turn. There's the arrow, followed by the blade rush. And bam. Uh, now, chances are, ladies and gentlemen, when I go to the point where I start to grind out the different levels and things, which is eventually going to happen because, again, this game is very grindy, um, I will probably up the attack animations and stuff, but right now I like to see them actually play out in normal time. If I find it's just ridiculous, and after I try it the first time on my own, when I am doing grinding, if I'm like, oh, well, that's not that bad, we should totally do this all the time, then maybe I'll switch it, but... For now, we're going to keep it the way it is, in hopes that that is the correct thing to do. How far can we cast spells? Not too, too far yet, but maybe soon. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get an extra attack on Alucard. 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 Over here, and we're going to try to get another team attack going on. And sure, why not? Alright, let's go ahead. Here comes Ice and a pew pew from our healer. Syringe took you down. Not really, I mean, you're still alive, but it's like we're doubling up on some damage here with a little whirly spinny attack thing of. Eh. Didn't kill him. It's kind of creepy. There we go. There's our bonus. Alright, so we can actually move you back now. We can take you out with this. Let's do that. Ooh, all th everybody's attacking, so we all get a little bit there. Oh, that was cool. I like that team attack. That was pretty neat. That was kind of nifty. All right, Miss Lizard, you get to defend yourself there. Good sir. And let's end our turn. A stab to our healer. How dare you. She's buffing up him with a shield like crazy. We're probably going to have to go and deal with that at some point. But not just yet. Let's go ahead and ice this guy. Well, quite literally. Um, yeah, it's fine, I think. So ice. The attack should follow up. Ooh. Another triple. Very small damage. And the launch and slaughter. Oh, she leveled up. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Alright, I am going to attempt to not understand how very simple things work. Alright, I'm going to attempt to throw him up there and then get her actually tossed down here so we can murder, murder her. All right, we have Poison Blast, which is interesting. Okay, so that's a straight shot with a bow. And you're in the way, so we can't actually do that. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Then we have, what, Tri Burst with you, which we also can't do? Oh, that's so, that's so sad. That is so incredibly sad. Oh, well. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, Tri Burst changed, right? Tri Burst now works anywhere we want to use it. Ooh, what are rose thorns? Fearsome yet elegant. Flower of death blooms in red. Oh, that sounds impressive. I guess we'll just throw... Wait, hold on. Maybe... Maybe poison... Bl no, that's right. We already looked. So maybe poison blast works differently than I thought. It does not. Try blast and she's down. That's good. Alright, and I guess that means we can actually throw a heal. Hold on. Let's go to... Nope. Let's go to items, and we have... The training staff, but we can't... We can't use that? Oh, equipment. I'm sorry. Bad Bumpy is bad, folks. It's fine. There we go. And now, what we want to do is go and heal... And this should increase our staff ability. Syringe with the heal! Wow, that was actually a pretty impressive heal. 
All right, so all that being said, let's end our turn. And now we have crazy Psycho McGee up here. Always going to come down and punch Ugh, Miss Lizard in the face, who did not enjoy that, by the way. If you guys were wondering, that was not something that he enjoyed in any way, shape, or form. So, yes, be aware that that was not great for him. We'll do a tri-burst. We'll then come down, I guess, and do a little bit of a moitarin. The triple strike, and let's execute. Burn for it, Axel. Eh, 33 damage, followed up, and at 68. And who are we going to get the finishing blow with here? I think we'll let Duane, or Duan, get this taken care of. Duan. All right, so we're going to go with special ice powers. And let me guess, you're not super reason. Oh, no, that worked out perfectly. All right, there we go. Beautiful, sweet, sweet, nice style. All right, let's see what's next. Why me? <laughs> he just gets dragged away. Looks like that poor sod wasn't a strong enough substitute for my father. Although, this Adele fool is tougher than I expected. Though he's just a human, he has the strength to defeat demons. He may be my enemy, but he fights well. <laughs> Killing him will be much more satisfying. I, 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 I did it! Oh yeah! The mighty Xenon goes down! Hmm? Oh no! It appears I had not looked closely enough. That is not my father. It is just some idiot. Awesome. You've got to be kidding! Now, now, calm down. Even princesses make mistakes. Let's go. It's awesome. Do you doubt my sincerity? You believe I purposely confused myself? But I'm bound by your summon. You asked me to escort you to my father, and that is why I am out here with you. If you doubt my intentions, we should stop. Fine. For a moment, I thought I actually won. It's just been a big waste of time. Yeah, that was a good exercise, man. No worries. Oh, I am quite exhausted. Where may I retire to rest? Everything's you, 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 you. Fine. Let's go back to town. I'm getting hungry. I hope I will find something to my liking among your slop. I have very picky taste when it comes to food. Of that, I've no doubt. I don't know what you like, but Hanako's cooking is way better than most chefs. Then I shall look forward to that. I am ready to feast now. All right, looks like it's feast time. I need to find Overlord Zenon before his curse gets worse. I don't like asking that girl for help, but I have to depend on her for now. Yeah, you do. Soggy, Polnair. It's six o'clock and time for the news. We are broadcasting to all netherworlds and throughout space in GigaVision. Earlier today, in the frontiers of Veldheim, Axel, formerly known as the Dark Hero, has apparently been murdered. Okay, that's weird. We have received reports that Axel was assaulted while shooting on location for his low-rated travel show, Tripping with Axel. Very little is known, and due to the hassle investigating poses, the Netherworld police have simply ruled it a homicide. With no suspects, the case was deemed insolvable. Though he was a mega star at one time, no one cares enough to look for him. His funeral was attended by a very small group of relatives. No tears were shed at the service. And now, for a moment of silence. Awesome. Coming up next, we have a special report on today's public education. Kids' common sense. Uh, okay. Creepy. Recent standardized test scores show an alarming decline in the subjects of lying and torture. The Dark Board of Education... That's creepy.
Nice place. Maybe. Maybe not. What is this? Where am I? Is this a battlefield? This place is so depressing. Is that father? Well, that was weird. So you still haven't found Overlord Xenon? Can you really trust that lady? Maybe she's just playing with you. Of course I can't trust her. She's a demon after all. That's why we have summoning rituals. So, Adele, what do you think? I promised her I'd take her back to her father. It's as simple as that. I always keep my promises. That's just my style. Stop pretending to be cool, or I'm gonna tell Mom. You're just gonna get hurt. I don't care. I can't help it if I was born this cool. Jeez. Adele! I woke the lady up for you. Oh, thanks, Hanako. Hey, Adele. I think she was crying. Her? Crying? You must have been seeing things. Maybe he did something naughty to uh. her. Sexual harassment. Adele's going to jail. How do you even know what sexual harassment is? Besides, I don't do that sort of thing. Yeah, I was going to ask the same question. Like, really? Huh. Weird. Hmm. This was the first time I've ever slept inside a doghouse. <laughs> it was an interesting and valuable experience, I must say. Hey, that's not a doghouse. It's my house. Now, now, she is the daughter of Overlord Xenon. Compared to her gorgeous mansion, our house must look like a doghouse. <laughs> hmm. Okay, Adele. You'd better go defeat Overlord Xenon today. Or else we're going to turn into real monsters. What kind of mother threatens her own son? Oh, ho, ho, ho. With this third eye, I can threaten anyone I want and not even care. If you don't like it, change us back. Don't forget to bring back souvenirs, Adele! <laughs> These are the people I'm fighting for? Yeah, no kidding, buddy. Episode 2, Rosalind the Liar. They don't do the voiceover on the chapters anymore. Uh, where's Super Adna's weird, crazy, transitional videos? I miss those. That was the best part of uh, Disgaea, the first one. That's so sad. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this episode went a little bit long. I do apologize for that, but that's going to do it for this episode. And there will be another one to follow it up a little bit later on. And then you guys can all enjoy the glorious awesomeness that is... Disgaea 2 PC. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.